Have you guys ever wanted to go fast in Shindle Life? Well, look no further. In this video is going to be the top 10 fastest things for movement in Shindle Life. Now, I think this video is very, very, very important because it will help you guys in just moving around the map, whether it's PvP, PvE, or anything. This list will help you guys immensely with this game itself. It's also just a really cool list just to know what the fastest things are in the game. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember that like button, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time, guys. Let's get right to the video. All right, so coming in 10th place is going to be the Hurricane Fist fighting style. Now, Hurricane Fist is going to become a 10th place because Myla also is pretty fast and also does travel quite a bit of distance. It is extremely good for traveling and it is very, very, very fast. I actually do use this quite a bit while I'm actually trying to travel around the map, like especially when I'm just grinding bosses because Hurricane Fist is just a really easy thing to equip. It's just a weapon spec that you can just throw on and then boom, you get to travel across the significant portion of the map from just a weapon spec. So it is a really, really good traveling move and it is one of the fastest moves in the game. Look up in ninth place, it's going to be Shock Cloak Second Mode. Now Shock Cloak Second Mode is extremely fast movement wise. It does doesn't really have any abilities that make you go faster but the actual movement of the mode itself it is the single fastest mode in the entire game it is the fastest mode not the fastest mode ability but it is the fastest mode also there's a meme video of how shock cloak how fast it used to go i'll have saboku pop that up on the screen right now you're basically sonic and you just zoom across the map literally so fast you would break the phys physics of the game you literally became sonic but yeah shock cloak z2 as it is right now is still extremely fast even after the speed nerf and it is really really good for traveling now coming in eight place is going to be Ren Shiki C spec. Now, Ren Shiki C spec is actually a lot like a one that's higher up on this list, but the reason why it's going to rank lower is because it doesn't last as long and it is mode locked. So it isn't really as good for traveling, but it is a really fast move. And I actually did research on this where I actually did it side by side testing and Ren Shiki C spec is extremely fast compared to a lot of the fastest things in the game. Like the speed is immense. Now coming to seventh place is going to be the simple, quite easy Demon Warp. Now Demon Warp, the sub jutsu is actually really good for traveling. You get full control control over it, you go near and also is extremely fast and it does teleport you so technically it's faster than what it seems because you are basically instantly teleported just keep that in mind big brain stuff right here but demon warp it is really good for traveling it is one of the fastest moves in the game i heard from some people that if you like this video right now and comment below you will get 10,000 million times luck instantly in Shindle Life for boss drops. So be sure to do that. Now coming in sixth place, it could be Mecha Third Ability. Now this is the one that's a lot like Renshiki C-Spec. Mecha Third is basically Renshiki C-Spec, but on the element slots. There's a glitch with it. I don't know if Rogue Games know this or not, but there is a glitch with it where it makes it last like 10 times as long as it's supposed to. So it is extremely good at traveling distances. Like the range of this move is so immense. It's kind of unreal. It's because of the glitch, like you start walking next to it like your roblox character starts going like neat 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 right next to the ball and you end up going for a significant distance more than what it's meant to go the coming to fifth place it could be the red shiki taijutsu move this is the one of the newest taijutsu in the game but the speed on it is crazy uh i think the speed is honestly a little bit too much considering it's a pvp ability if it is so fast and really good at pvp it's so fast to the point where you can it's like i use it for traveling over other moves that's a little bit too fast like this move like you literally become a beyblade and you just let it rip across the ember fate spawn area like you literally go so fast that you start you know going through time but yeah the the red chicken taijutsu is extremely fast if you ever want to become a beyblade just equip this and you will fulfill your dreams now fourth place is going to be the very obvious smoke first ability the smoke first ability is the one that you see a lot of people use all the time it is not the fastest one in the game that's why it's not in first place but it is one of the longest lasting one of the overall single best traveling moves in the entire game it is so useful that it just has to be on the list for that and this may be the top 10 fastest things in the game but when you do it speed like uh fast like how fast something is you do speed by length by time well since this goes on for further than the other ones it technically is faster because you would spend the same time walking big brain math stuff you know i'm really good at my math like five times 50 is apparently 1250 the coming to third place is going to be the uh, uh, satori akuma and shiver akuma c spec both of these are about the same exact you know speed shiver akuma does notably last significantly longer than satori akuma c spec but that doesn't really matter because they're both extremely fast and this is a speed list this was also on the list last time oh yeah i just wanted to say this the last time i did this was it i'm pretty sure 
whether it was a year or two months ago, this was the first top five video I ever did. It was a momentous, you know, video for my channel. And I, you know, I'm just glad I get to do it again. But yeah, these were all the last one. These are still are extremely fast. And yes, they are, you know, speedy boy central. Now coming to second place is going to be the most annoying throwable in the entire game. You guys already know what it is. Dagai Wire Senko Kunai. Not only are these extremely fast, like very, very fast, but the traveling on them is so insane. Like it, there's also a weapon that's the exact same. It's also Senko Kunai, but the, why would you use it when you can just use the throwable? Or you could just use both if you want maximum power, I guess. But these are extremely fast considering you instantly teleport to the end and the actual speed of what it goes, it's fast. Like you, this is, this is a really good traveling move, which is led to me being very annoyed at PVP because this move is very annoying. I would not wish it, wish this pain upon anyone in the world. I would not even wish to step on a, I, like, I would rather step on a Lego than fight someone using Dagai Wire. And that's the truth. Fighting someone using Dagai Wire is like, eating a beehive and the bees stinging your mouth 10 times over like it is terrible to actually fight this ability in this game but it is very fast and that's why it's gonna be on this list by the way guys at 200,000 subscribers i will be eating the world's hottest pepper and if i can eat more i will be also eating the second world's hottest pepper and the third world's hottest pepper so if you guys want to see that feel free to subscribe and uh, be on the lookout for that i don't know about you what is going to be the old really really good traveling move pika second now pika second did receive a major speed nerf which is why it's going to be the honorable mentions but it just had to be on this list just for nostalgia i mean like everyone that actually you know played this game up until this point knows that pika senko you know that was the go-to right there that was the stuff you know what i'm saying like pika senko like pico senko pikachu you know what i'm saying but pika yeah it's really it's still good for traveling but it's not as good as the other moves on this list that's why it's in the honorable mentions now honorable mention 2 is going to be the chi dash now the chi dash is the passive mentor ability you could throw wide dash in here why not throw a wide dash in with this too wide dash chi dash both of them they're both really good for traveling they're both actually really fast as well they're very spammable too i mean wide dash doesn't have a cooldown so you know there's that but the drawback to these is that these um you know they require you to choose a specific mentor that's why it's going to be an honorable mentions but they are actually extremely fast so they do deserve a spot on this list the coming to first place is going to be of course the tin tail second mode z spec i'm sure you guys have heard of this by now but the the tin tail second mode z spec is extremely fast you can literally travel across the map in five seconds you can defy you know you can defy the speed barrier and go like mach 20 with this mode Th this ability is so fast that people won't even see you flying above them okay maybe they will because the tin tails dragon is huge uh, but if the tin tail dragon was small and it was just your body like a little tiny robloxian body you would not even be able to see it from how fast it was flying through the sky above you i would also like to mention that you know this is also extremely easy to get so even though it is number one it also is really easy to get which is a huge bonus so if you guys are actually doing pve content this is the go-to mode use this mode for pve and for pvp um you know if you want to be annoying i guess use it but i would generally avoid trying to be annoying to people because that's how you get hunted down in public servers you don't want to annoy people but annoying people has nothing to do with being fast if you want to go fast to be a race car for like 10 seconds then go ahead and use the z spec nobody's stopping you i would also like to say that naru third third like the third ability of naru it's not going to be on this list because it's not that fast it is really really good just for it's an iframe combined with it being a traveling move it's kind of like cobra sage z spec that could also be on this list but i'm not going to put it on this list because i don't know I don't want to, but both of these are kind of listed the same thing. They're really good traveling moves, but I don't really want to put them on the list itself. But uh, yeah, that's about that. Anyways, guys, it's actually it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like, subscribe, and subscribe, guys. 